Zahara Jolie Pitt has grown up right before our eyes. Did you know that she now wears her famous mom's previously worn dresses at red carpet premieres? Keep watching to see how else Zahara has transformed over the years. In 2009, Angelina Jolie took her then four-year-old daughter, Zahara Jolie Pitt, back to Ethiopia for the first time since her adoption. According to a close family friend who was interviewed by People, the mission of the trip was to keep the culture in Zahara's mind and to find a location for a clinic that would be named after Zahara and dedicated to AIDS and tuberculosis. Ensuring that Zahara has a connection to her culture is something that Angelina seems to have always encouraged, not only for Zahara, but for all of her children. Angelina takes the whole family on trips to Europe, Asia, and Africa together so that all of the children can learn about their own culture and their siblings' different backgrounds. Plus, all the children are homeschooled by teachers who speak different languages and have ties to different religions and backgrounds. In 2021, Angelina had this to say about her daughter in a 2020 Time 100 talk. Zahara is my family, but she is an extraordinary African woman, and her connection to her country, her continent, is her own, and it's something that she can only stand back in awe of. In 2016, Zahara Jolie Pitt voiced Mang Mang, one of the rambunctious triplet baby pandas in DreamWorks' Kung Fu Panda 3. I'm Cuckoo. I'm Mang Mang. I'm Shui she also did some uncredited work in Angelina Jolie's film Maleficent in 2014 and appeared in an episode of VH1 All Access as herself in 2006. It's been a while since the young Zahara took to the screen, leaving many to wonder if she's considering acting as a future career move. At the Oscars in 2020, Brad Pitt was asked how he'd feel if any of his kids wanted to pursue acting. Pitt responded, I want them to follow their passions, whatever they're most interested in. But sure, Sure, why not? While it seems that several of the Jolie Pitt kids have had small parts here and there, Angelina hasn't been able to convince any of them to appear with her in any of her other movies as of yet. As Angelina told People in 2019, I tried. None of my kids want to be actors. They're into business, humanitarian affairs, things like that. Nobody was interested. In 2019, Zahara Jolie Pitt partnered with jeweler Robert Prokop to create the Zahara Collection, which sold at Saks Fifth Avenue locations, as well as other retail stores around the US and Australia. Zahara unveiled her jewelry line at the premiere of Angelina Jolie's movie, Maleficent, Mistress of Evil in 2019, where she wore dangly three jeweled earrings, a matching ring on her right hand, and a simple yet elegant bracelet on her left wrist, all of which were eight 18 karat gold. Designer Pro Cop has previously worked with Angelina on her Style of Jolie collection in 2010. In keeping with her mother's example, the proceeds from Zahara's collection were said to benefit the House of Ruth Shelters, which provide housing for battered women and children. Although it seems clear that the Jolie Pitt bunch are a pretty tight-knit group of siblings, Zahara Jolie Pitt seems to be particularly close with her sister, Shiloh Jolie Pitt. According to Life in Style, Zahara and her younger sister Shiloh are very close, and while Shiloh gets along with all her siblings, she always seeks Zahara out for fashion advice. The two seem to bond over a mutual interest in fashion. Some may speculate that the two are tight merely due to their closeness in age and familial bond but it doesn't seem to be so simple. They seem genuinely close, as they are usually photographed standing next to each other and have been seen shopping together. Not only do the sisters seem to enjoy each other's company, but they also appear to truly love each other. This was evident in 2020 when both girls took turns undergoing surgeries and helped care for the other while they recovered. In keeping with her mother's wish to maintain a connection to her cultural roots, at the end of 2019, Zahara Jolie Pitt returned to the country where she was born to welcome in the new year with her mother and three of her siblings, Shiloh, Knox, and Vivian. While there, Zahara also got to meet her birth country's first female president, Zahale Work Zaudi. Zahara, Shiloh, and Angelina even had the opportunity to sit down and talk with the president herself. At the talk, they discussed Ethiopian culture culture, education, women's access to sanitary napkins, equal access to education, and continuing efforts to treat tuberculosis within Ethiopia. Since 2009, Angelina has provided funds through the Zahara program in partnership with the Global Health Committee and the Ethiopian Federal Ministry of Health to treat and combat drug-resistant
assistant TB in Ethiopia. According to People, this work has led to continuing success in treating people with TB in the region. In 2021, Zahara Jolie Pitt showed she's not afraid to wear hand-me-downs when she wore her mother's dress from 2014 at the Eternals premiere. The Elie Saab couture dress originally worn by Angelina Jolie at the 2014 Academy Awards is a long-sleeved floor-length number in shimmering silver. While the dress has already been seen before, we're loving the fact that such a gorgeous dress was put to good use once more, and Zahara most definitely made it work. She's growing up so beautifully. Zahara has always been the Jolie Pitt child known for killing it with her style. Perhaps she'll go into fashion, which will enable her to put the French language she's reportedly been learning during the pandemic, according to Hello, to good use. Likely with Zahara's advice, Shiloh Jolie Pitt also wore one of mom's old dresses to the premiere of Eternals. Shiloh donned a beige mid-length dress with an asymmetrical hemline, a dress originally worn by Angelina on a summer 2021 trip to Paris. She completed the look with white flats and double anklets. Whether it's fashion or humanitarian work she pursues, it seems likely that Zahara Jolie Pitt will have a bright future. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.